By synchronising our clocks, we can organise our time and coordinate our activities with people around the world. Now, scientists have engineered bacteria to synchronise their molecular timekeepers in a similar fashion, making this colony of E. coli fluoresce in unison. Bacteria move constantly and divide every 20 minutes, so engineering them to act in synchrony is a huge achievement. It's a feat akin to making all the world's traffic lights blink in unison. Most living things have molecular clocks to regulate feeding patterns, sleep and so on. By studying the genetic machinery of these natural timekeepers, scientists have been able to build molecular clocks or oscillators in the lab. Ten years ago, researchers at Princeton University showed that their artificial oscillator worked in individual E. coli cells. Now, Jeff Hasty and his team have gone one step further, synchronising clocks in a whole colony of E. coli. To do this, they exploited a common bacterial communication system known as quorum sensing. This system coordinates the behaviour of the colony through genes that send signals to each other. The team harnessed this quorum sensing machinery to get their cells to talk to each other. Each cell you see here has its own internal oscillator, but it also secretes a signalling molecule to tell its neighbours the phase of its oscillation. And as neighbouring cells pick up this signal, they begin to flash in unison. The flashes are made by a fluorescent protein, which the team added to each cell's clock circuitry to make the synchrony visible. If we zoom out on this larger colony, you can see the fluorescence spread from one end to the other. In this case, the colony is too large for every cell to act in synchrony, and instead the behaviour propagates through the colony like a Mexican wave. By getting to grips with molecular clock design in the lab, scientists hope to learn more about complex natural processes such as rhythmic insulin secretion and sleep cycles. Another application is to develop cell implants that use synchronised oscillators to deliver a dose of drug at specific time intervals. With such a system, we'd no longer need to remember to take our medicine at the same time every day. This kind of medical application is still far from the clinic, but these flashing bacteria show that the field of synthetic biology is making real progress.